Hi, my name is Stacy from the Start.ca Service Desk and I'm going to take you through and show you how to connect the equipment that you've received or will receive as a new Start.ca cable internet customer. Opening the box, you'll find the documentation plus our friendly step-by-step -step quick start guide. An ethernet cable which you'll connect from the modem to your computer or router, the power adapter, and finally the cable modem itself. Now that we've looked everything over, let me take you through the steps that will get you quickly connected. Begin by locating the coax cable outlet that will be activated. This is also known as the cable jack. You'll likely have more than one of these in your home and it's important to connect to the correct one. Next, find a spot nearby to plug your modem directly into the wall for power. Attach one end of the coax cable to the wall outlet and the other to the jack on the back of the modem. Take the Ethernet cable and attach it to the Ethernet port on the back of the modem. From here, you have a couple options. You can plug the other end of the Ethernet cable directly into a single device, like a computer or a laptop, and essentially get it online. If you plan on connecting multiple devices, you'll likely be connecting the modem to a router. To do that, simply take the other end of the Ethernet cable and attach it to the WAN port on your router. This is important as most routers have several Ethernet ports on the back, so it's really important to use the right one. Luckily, many routers indicate the WAN port by not only labeling it, but also by color coding it. You're just about there. Now that the hardware is connected, do a quick check and make sure your cable modem's LEDs have stabilized. If you've connected a router, the link light should start flickering. If you're using a router, it's time to start connecting devices to it. Most routers give you the option of hardwiring devices as well as offering wireless access or Wi-Fi. Make sure to check out our video on Wi-Fi and router security if you're planning on setting up wireless access. If everything has been connected and your internet service is active, you should now be online and good to go. Remember, if you're having issues connecting your cable modem, your router, or need any help with your internet connection in general, don't hesitate to call us or visit start.ca to send us an email. You can also get help on social media. Visit our website for those links. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos, subscribe, and keep up with the latest from Start.ca.